Hello and welcome to the Torres YouTube channel. Today we have a spy commentary. He's doing the cloak and dagger, the ambassador, and I don't. The picture shows up somewhere. I don't know. Um, today I'm gonna try and do a little bit of less editing because these one these videos take forever to edit, but two because uh, I want to try something else. I've been watching my own videos a little bit. Like I haven't watched a couple handful of my videos, but the one I did watch, the medic one. Um, which by the way go watch it please that one had a little less editing and i like that i preferred that a little more maybe it's because it was story time ti maybe because it was story time but i don't know um anyways yeah there's gonna be a little less editing today we have a specific topic the importance of self-preservation dreams and goals um my spy gameplay by the way is really ass i play horribly you got blood on my suit now just stop trying to mess with my contraptions. Please, I, I, yeah, I'm playing with bots. I didn't understand how bad I could play, but um, hopefully I can get Team Fortress Classic or Team Fortress 2 Classic set up at some point because I would like to record my gameplay on there. And plus, I won't be playing with bots, and that's that's good. Uh, a lot of people in my life I see have problems uh, with that. If you're not really someone who sets goals, I would like to <laughs> remind you that it's pretty important to set those goals, at least in my opinion. If you, you know, don't have goals, then maybe make a goal that you should start making <laughs> goals. Usually how goals works is you set one specific thing that you want to achieve and you sort of like make little tiny little goals before that that lead up to that big goal that you want. You know, those little goals that can help you achieve that. I'm sure you've been taught that before and whatever. I don't want to sound condescending. It's, sorry if I came off that way. Basically, if you don't have goals, it's kind of hard for you to feel as if you can get this idealistic interpretation of like what you want in life. Like, if, for example, for me, right? My goal is I want to be a YouTuber, a pretty popular one, maybe one with like 100,000 subscribers, 10,000 subscribers, whatever I can get. To get that goal, I have to do a bunch of other things like make YouTube videos every day. Hopefully the algorithm will push it, make my videos uh, like the thumbnails eye-catching, make my personality, I guess, somewhat eye caching as well and to accomplish that i not only have to do all that but also keep myself preserved i have to keep myself sanity wise just sane i want to make sure that the goals that i'm accomplishment uh, accomplishing are realistic and also like if if you're if for example if, if my goal was to have a million subscribers by the end of the year that's just not realistic. That's that's something that probably won't happen unless in rare cases. However, if my goal was something like I want to be a YouTuber with a million subscribers, that's a little different because it's not putting a time on it, right? It's something that you can accomplish if you put in the grinding hours of work into it. Someday, I hope to get there, but for now, I have to set myself with accomplishable goal that will make me happy all the way to it. It's important to realize that like, you know, goals comes come with ups and downs, and you have to be prepared for those ups and downs because not all of your goal progress is going to be positive. You're going to end up in a lot of moments where you're doubting yourself or you doubt the goals that you're making, and that's normal. I feel like a lot of people go through that. Um, so capture a goal in your head right now. Think of something in your head that you want to accomplish and try to visualize it. Visualize how you feel in that moment. Visualize what's around you, all the people in your life or anything that can make you happy thinking about this goal other than just the goal itself. And that will help you visualize the believe it, uh, the, that will help you visualize the realism of that goal. Now, I think it goes without saying, like, you have to put in a lot of effort to accomplish that goal. But I feel like what a lot of people do when they talk about goals is they mainly only talk about the constant work ethic and the always trying to, like, you, you gotta get on it now, mister. You have to build yourself up and you have to always be working 100% of the time. I don't think that's true because normally, most of the time, you're gonna have to work on your own comfortability. 
because you're gonna end up getting burnt out of that goal if you are constantly always for constantly always focused on achieving that goal you have to be focused on a lot of other things things that make you happy and you comfortable if you get advice that's like hey you gotta put in the work don't don't be crying about it or nothing like that then you're gonna end up in a pretty rough state because there are going to be obvious negatives ups and downs with the goals so you just got to prepare yourself for that you have to put yourself in a state where you can handle that and if you can't handle that take breaks take take a good calm calculated breaks for as ever long as you need but don't forget that that's it's a goal you want to accomplish so whenever you're able to get right back up on that saddle push yourself to work but remember don't overwork yourself. It's important not to, or else you're gonna lose meaning in that goal. That also is a great segue into self-preservation. Self-preservation is the act of reinforcing all these goals, keeping yourself in a state of mind where you can build up these goals healthily, take breaks, and make sure your sanity is in check. If you don't have that, then you're just gonna be always focused on accomplishing that goal no matter what, disregarding your mental health completely, which, I should note, it's not impossible to accomplish your goal while disregarding your mental health, but it's not efficient. It's not really good for you. You're going to end up feeling like your goal is a nest, like you're going to start feeling like you're like a robot, like, like sent from cyber life to accomplish a task. Wake up, Lieutenant. And you're not going to be too happy about that goal. So. Make sure you can keep yourself happy. Make sure you can keep yourself steady. And always remember that you matter. That it's important to consider what matters to you before anything else. Always make sure that you can focus on being happy. Take breaks. Keep yourself in that mind because you got it. Like, look at me. I, like, I have so much passion for what I'm doing. I, I would love to share that with you. And I, and I, I would love to share your passions with me as well. If you can write in the comments, like, whatever thing you're passionate about and what you're really, like, invigorated about, I would love that. That would inspire me and I'm sure other people reading as well. Because your goals are amazing. I just, you know, I just hope you can take care of yourself while you do them as well. Don't forget, you can accomplish great things. Because with time, you could turn out to be someone incredibly fucking awesome. If you weren't already, <laughs> that is. Anyway, this was Torres. Uh, I think that's going to be my outro. I think I'm going to say my name like a fucking captain's log. This has been Torres. Thank you so much for watching this video. And I'm out. Have a good one. Thank you so much for watching this video. I, I, I tell, tell me in the comment section if you get really tired of the music I keep using in the editing. Recommend some music if you would like to see it on the videos because I don't have a very big catalog of music I use. It's kind of repetitive, but I would totally appreciate any feedback on like what music you guys would prefer to see on here. I usually like to keep it a chill vibe, so I don't want any like heavy metal <laughs> music per se, but like video game music, any like from artists you enjoy. I'd prefer instrumental because it's hard for me to edit with uh, like lyrics in the back. Uh, a couple of my videos I had some lyrics in the back and it was a little hard to match my voice with the lyrics but anyways if you liked what you saw go watch uh the healing process i think that's what i called it i'm not sure you deserve to love again it shows up on here and i love you i'll see you another time bye bye